In this video, I'm gonna show you how to clean the burners in your furnace. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications. Let's go change and get this done. Come on. We're gonna go over the burners in your furnace and how to clean them. Like I've mentioned in other videos, a big part of furnace maintenance is cleaning. The in-shop burners in my furnace are really easy to get to. Now, yours might be a little more difficult. Some furnaces have a panel covering the burners and you'd have to remove that access panel in order to get to the burners. You might have to remove the bracket that's holding the burners in place. In some furnaces, you might have to loosen the screws that are actually holding the gas supply in place in order to get to the burners. However your furnace is configured, be mindful of how things come apart so that you can put it back together when you're done. If you're uncomfortable doing stuff like this and you're not sure which screws to remove, don't mess with it. Leave it to the pros. When you have your furnace serviced each year, your technician should inspect the burners and let you know if they need some extra attention. Now, since we're gonna be working on gas components today, we're gonna to be shutting off the power and the gas. To shut off the gas, you wanna find a hard pipe outside of the furnace. It should be pretty close. Follow it down and make sure that it goes into the furnace so that you know that that's the gas line and then follow it back out until you come to a valve. It might look like this, it may be a little bit different, but what you wanna do is you want to turn the valve until it's perpendicular crossways to the valve body. Now we're gonna take the doors off the furnace. Now this is gonna expose the burner assembly. This is the gas valve, and then this pipe that flows around here, the gas travels through there, and then on the other side of this, these are the orifices that the gas is being pushed through, and the jets, you've got an opening here, and they sit over that. The gas goes through, and they're ignited, and they burn into flames. So what I'm trying to do is figure out, how do I get these burners out without having to take everything apart? So. Like I can see that there are some screws holding the burner in place. I've got an extension that's an angled extension, but it won't fit. Once I put my bit in there, it won't work on that particular angle. So in order to give myself more room, I'm gonna have to take this top plate off. I can see that there are four screws holding that in place and I could lift that up and then maybe have enough room for my extension. But before we actually do that, you could just inspect the burners if you have an inspection mirror like this, because you may not have to clean them at all. So if you can stick your mirror back there and see the front side of the burner, this is what a technician would do. They would, they would inspect these to see if they're dirty. You're looking for signs of dirt dust, rust, just build up on those burners. Mine look really good. Under, under normal circumstances, I wouldn't even pull these things and clean them, but for purposes of the video, I'm gonna still pull them and show you the different ways that you can clean them. Now, how dirty these burners get really depend on the conditions that the furnace is installed in. Some of them are installed in attics, crawl spaces, laundry rooms, and anything that's in the air, any of the dirt, dust, lint, that stuff gets pulled into the furnace and can collect on the components inside. So before you start taking things apart, take a minute and look at how these things are put together. It's not a bad idea to take a picture that you can refer back to. If you do have to disconnect wires and other things in order to get to the burners, be sure you know where you're disconnecting the wires from so that you can put them back the way you found them. So you can see here, this right here is my igniter. It's a rod and it's, it's actually really thin and it's really brittle because it heats up and cools down. And so you wanna be really careful when you're, when you're pulling this out that you're not breaking that rod. Push that down. All right, I can move this plate out of the way. You want to push up on the burner so that it detaches from whatever it's holding on to and then push the burner away from this pipe because it's sitting over top of that gas orifice. My burners come out individually. Other burners may come out as a solid piece or they could be interlocked together. 
Now it's important when you take the burners off that you uh, keep track of which side is up and which side is down. It might not seem like it makes that big a difference and on every furnace it might not, but on some furnaces I know that it does. Just make sure you know which way is up and down. So in order to clean these, I looked in my owner's manual and in several others online and I couldn't find specific instructions on how the manufacturer says to clean these gas burners. So I went and I talked to the HVAC managers um, and they actually said there's a couple of different ways to clean them. Now, if you look on the back side of these burners, there's a couple of places that are important to make sure are clean. You've got the burner face, and again, you're looking for buildup of dirt, dust, rust, uh, but then you also have these little channels, these little wings that, that come off here. You wanna make sure that those don't have anything in them. Now, um, if you just got surface stuff you wanna get out, if you have a brass brush, you can sit there and clean those. You can see the dirt, the little buildup that I had not very much coming off but some of them like i say are like really really dirty i mean you can you can tell the difference there's just not a ton of buildup on my burners now again some burners have a lot of buildup on them the other option to clean is to actually take some soapy water and rinse them out in the sink so uh for illustration purposes i'm going to show you how to do that now I'm just using warm water. You don't have to use a ton of soap. If the buildup on your burners is more stubborn, you can use a toothbrush to scrub a little bit. Just make sure you rinse all the soap and then we're gonna dry them before we reinstall them. I use my air compressor to blow them dry. If you've got some compressed air, you could use that or shake them out and let them set for a little bit. Now, before we put the burners back in, we want to check the orifices on the other side of this gas line right here. So we're just going to take our mirror and look and see if there's any obvious blockages. Put the burners back together the way you took them apart. Reassemble everything. Be sure if you disconnected any wires that you hooked them back up the way that you disconnected them. Looks like I've got everything on mine. Turn the gas back on. Turn the power back on. And like we always do after we've been working on the furnace, turn the furnace on and make sure that it's working and we didn't accidentally miss something. Button everything back up. Now this isn't necessarily a beginner project. So if you're not comfortable doing stuff like this, again, don't do it. If you have your furnace serviced each year, you should have it inspected. Like the technician should actually inspect those burners and they'll let you know if they need to be cleaned. If you found this video helpful, hit that like button. It lets us know that you like the videos that we're making. And if you do like the videos that we're putting out, uh, don't forget to subscribe and turn on notifications so that you know when we release new videos. Until next time, good luck with your next project. And remember, if you ever feel like you've gotten in over your head, stop and call a technician you trust for some help. Thanks for watching. See ya.